Hey there YouTube, this is Robert with uh, some more SolidWorks tutorials. Uh, last time I explained about how to make custom properties on your parts and this time we're going to show you how to link those properties to notes and your title block in drawings. So here's my glasses again that I made. Uh, we made some custom properties for this here. So we added some properties using our property tab builder. If you want to know how to make this check out my previous video link to the annotation here and we're gonna get started here so let's make a drawing from our part and I'm just using a standard uh, you know default template here for SolidWorks uh, landscape a okay bring in isometric view of my glasses here and you'll see there we go now it pulled in a property here automatically. So I'm going to show you how to make those. Now you can just do it in your page with notes or you can make it actually add it to your sheet format so it's part of the title block. So I'm going to create a note here and I'm just going to place it out in space. Okay. And oh, there it is. Let's pull all of our stuff into the correct screen here. Okay, so you can just type things into your notes, or what you can do is you can come over to this button here, link to property, and you get a couple of choices here. You want to pull properties from current document. This is uh, actually pulls it from the drawing file, which sometimes is what you want, sometimes not, it just depends. Model in view specified in sheet properties. This would be the first this will be the model that you bring into the drawing first so if you're doing multiple drawings or multiple models in the same drawing then it'll pull from the first model and this is what I end up using the most and then component to which annotation is attached versus model in which uh, I'm sorry model in view to which annotation is attached uh, the difference between these is if you have an assembly if you use model it'll link to the assembly if you use component it will link to the individual part and this has to do with the leader if you got an arrow coming off your note pointing to a part it'll pull from whichever one the arrow is attached and then you get to choose from the properties now if you're using a standard SolidWorks property they'll all be in here um, and you can see here's the properties that uh, that I added here uh, so let's do like author for example and we'll click OK Boom, and it pulls in my name automatically because we already set me as the author in the part. So that's pretty easy to do, and you can do that with your notes, you can do it with a lot of things. Uh, but let's say we wanted to do something to the sheet format, so let's clear this out. Maybe I want to make a custom, uh, don't save. Let's say I want to make a custom sheet format. Let's just start a brand new drawing here. All right. Exit that. We're not going to insert any views. We're just going to right click on the middle of the screen, edit sheet format. There's all our lines and you can see some syntax here. This is a note it says PRP sheet description. So if I had had that description property in my um, in my part, then that would have pulled up as well. And what we can do see this is kind of hard to read here but there's there's a couple different properties here like we've got the weight of the part is in here uh, they, they made a lot of neat things uh, and you can add these notes here as well so if I want to come over here pick a note maybe use one of these fields over here drop that in again we can link to properties except that we don't have any models in here yet we're still gonna set model and view specified in sheet pro uh, properties but our list of choices is diminished so we have uh, a couple of choices here if you want to pick from one of the standard SolidWorks um, properties there's no issue just select them click OK done not a problem but if you want to pick from something different then you're going to need to ed edit your template as well and what you can do is go into your drawing and add in those properties that are missing so if you remember from my last video, I had a property called Robert Stud, and it was a yes/no. 
So if I add it to my file here, now that property is in here, you can see it's still there. If I edit my sheet format, I make a note, and I want to link to a property here, then we should be able to choose, yep, there it is, Robert is a stud. So there is our property that we can choose from. So if you have custom properties that aren't in the list, you'll actually need to create a custom template for your drawings and add in the missing properties. And then when you start your drawings, you'll need to select that template as well as the sheet format that has all the title block items that you want. Uh, and in that way, you'll be able to bring in your models and get a nice automatically filled title block with your weight, maybe your part number, uh, quantity, whatever it is that you need to have in there. And this has been Robert with more SolidWorks tutorials. Uh, please let me know if you have anything that you'd like me to do. You can email me uh, at mudrock1221 at gmail.com and I'll make whatever video you need. Have a good day.